quick introduction. My name is Manya and I am a thrifter, collector and also a vintage reseller and I live in the Netherlands. Today I'm just going to be sharing a thrift haul. Actually, if you watched last week's video, it was a thrift with me. The second part is going to come next week, but due to some things happening, I had to kind of reschedule my things. So today you're just going to watch a thrift haul, but it's still going to be full of amazing items. These are all things that I thrifted in the Netherlands. So nothing from Germany, but still a lot of amazing German treasures. So we're going to hop right in. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I have a little like booth or like shelf unit at a, a thrift store or well, vintage store here, kind of like an antique mall, but a lot smaller. One of my neighbors, I actually closed down her booth and she had a 50% off sale and I got a bunch of stuff to sell on my Etsy. Her prices were really great and I'm just going to share a few things. I think I got like three or four items, four items from her. They're all, I feel like, very exciting. The first one is this amazing little chimney vase with the hole inside, like the characteristic rectangle. It's not marked, but I was able to find out that this is Dutch pottery. It is by a company called Fest Keramiek, and the design is by a person called Marius van Woorden. So it's a van Woorden Fest Keramiek uh, chimney vase, and I think it's really cool. It does have a little chip on the side, but that one is really not noticeable at all. In the end, this only ended up costing me one euro seventy-five. Yes, I know it's not a thrift store. <laughs> Where I sell my stuff, but some of the sellers have really low prices, so with the discount, this was really amazing. And the second item I got there was this. I had been eyeing this vase for a little bit. She was asking five euros for it, but now with the discount, it came down to two fifty. This is a, a German vase. It's not West German. It's East German, and it is by Strela. And I'm kind of trying to get into buying more colorful vases, not just brown. This one is brown, but it does have this really nice red fat lava dot in the middle which I really liked so this one I also got and then I also bought this vase which I have not been able to identify and I felt like I kind of should be because it has this amazing shape and texture and coloring but marking is um, not very typical West German it could be German but it also could be something different it's uh, marked with like lettering like actually written on it it has a number um 3004 and then it says mat1 or mati not really sure but i just absolutely love the shape and i love the colors like the yellow and the white it's really nice and it does kind of look modern it's definitely vintage and um, it also does have a very small chip kind of underneath here you're not even able to see it at all when it's sitting down somewhere you have to turn around and look but i'm not sure how much i paid for this I think she was asking like 4 euros for it or 5 euros, so it was around 2 euros, 2 euro 50. So that was a great deal and there was one item that I kind of, I wouldn't say splurge on it, but it was definitely, I think, um, probably the most expensive items of all the items I purchased. And that is this vase and uh, she had it for 45, so I got it for half off, so that is 22.50 and it is an Italian Bertoncello vase. So um, I've been eyeing that vase <laughs> for a while in her booth. They sell on Etsy, depends, like between like 80 to 150 euros. So I felt like 22 was a really good price for it. I mean, you could technically also use it as a planter, but you'd have to put a very small plant pot in here. But I feel like it's a vase. Bredoncello has those amazing shapes and so unusual. A lot of times it's like kind of brown, beige. A color gradient effect and a lot of times we'll go with holes. Uh, I feel like this is a really cool one. It's a really great find. Now I'm going to show you a couple things that I found locally um, at a few stores just around the area. First one is this candlestick holder. Um, it's just pressed glass so it's not mouth blown but I really liked the kind of almost veins the glass has and this it almost looks like a splatter <laughs> of pink glass and as you can see it's curved so it sits really nicely on a table i feel like it would look amazing with a twisted candle inside now i have actually gotten um twisted candles for birthday so i was like mm, am i gonna keep it but no i actually already kept two candlestick holders that i showed on last week's video so this one i am gonna sell i have no idea how much this is gonna retail for i just loved it and they were asking 150 for it so i felt like i couldn't really go wrong then i also got a set of salt and pepper shakers I feel like I never used to find salt and pepper shakers, but maybe it's because I didn't really go into the kitchen aisle that, that a lot. 
I'm not really sure. But I found these two little cooks. I felt like they're really cute. I'm not sure if it's a vintage thing or whatever. But the salt has one hole, like the S and the pepper. The P has three holes. I feel like usually that's the other way around. That you want to put more salt on the pepper. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe I'm confused. Yeah, but I did like them. They are definitely hand painted. These ones I paid, I think, a euro for the pair or something like that. One or one fifty. The same local store. I also found uh, this ceramic jar. And when I walked by, I kind of had like a hinge. Like, hmm, this kind of looks like it could be. Then I turned around and who was? <laughs> what I'm talking about is that it's by Strela. So kind of like the one vase I showed you. Um, It's East German. They made these types of jars and this one is a uh, fennel and this actually says fennel in German and then it also has the Latin word for it and it has a couple of little butterflies and stuff like that uh, on it and I think there was a very small chip, yes there was a very small chip on the lid, nevertheless I really liked it and I got it and I think this one was like euros I feel like a lot of times the price at that store that I'm just showing you stuff from um, are not on the item so they tell you the price when they're on the cash register it's uh, when you're at the cash register it's kind of like half half it's um some are marked some are not then i also got this amazing art glass vase there i like the purple i feel like this is gonna look amazing if you put it somewhere where a lot of direct sunlight hits so the purple kind of really shine this one was only 150 i think this one's actually gonna be a youth item another piece i got there is this it's only one a candle holder and i like to go them in pairs kind of like this it's well not a candle it's actually a tea light holder but what really interested me was the sticker on there because it is a crystal royal copenhagen and royal copenhagen is a really good brand it's danish i mean everything scandinavian is good it's great i feel like and unfortunately there was only one there was one next to it that looked almost the same but i compared i'm like no they are different i think they just put them next to each other hoping that someone would buy both of them it's a lotus flower and i feel like it would probably give really cool light when you put the tea light in there now at this local store i found one of the coolest things i feel like i've ever found i feel like it's unique it's uh, you can probably find these in places but this one i i just feel like it's kind of a special find and if you're following me on instagram you will have seen this already and i'm talking about this this is a toaster from the 1970s like completely space age um and there are a couple of really cool things about it i mean um the cable is here it has a little bit of a, a break in here but it does work it's and, and that's from age actually it's not from usage um it's still in amazing condition if you look at the underside and everything it literally looks and even the inside looks like it's never been used <laughs> never toasted a slice of bread i did actually test it in the store um and it works it works great it got really hot and it's perfect and it is german it's by aeg aeg which is a very good brand that they still make stuff today and apparently they made really awesome toasters back in the 70s so yeah it is in working condition um i think at some point it would be wise to replace the cable because it's kind of um hard like the the outside and it's getting kind of brittle so um that's probably going to be something i'm going to put in the list i think i'll try to put this on uh, etsy first and if it doesn't sell quickly, I'm going to put it in my booth where I feel like it's probably going to sell really fast. I paid €7.50 for this and these go for a lot more online. My husband and I, we took a little trip recently for our nine year wedding anniversary and also for my birthday, which was on March 21st. So we kind of combined that because we got married on March 20th. So we kind of usually combine those two things. And we also went thrifting, went to three stores, found a few things here. The first thing I found, I went to one store. Um, and it was, as I said, all in the Netherlands and only found two of these gigantic, you could say cups, but this is almost a mug. It's so, so big. They are German and I actually looked this up. Um, they are by a brand called Am Zell Am Hammersbach, which just by the sound of it, it's very likely somewhere in the south in Bavaria or something. And these are hand painted 1970s mugs with those flowers on it. And I mean, even the saucer, it's gigantic for a coffee mug. If you like a lot of coffee in the morning, this will be perfect. We actually went to the next store because that was the only thing I found at that one store. And this was one of the items I got there. First when I saw it and also saw the lighting there, I was like, this does look like a uh, West German pottery. I have no idea what it is, but I'll pick it up. It was one euro fifty. Now I did some research and this is actually Dutch pottery. It is by a company called Groenekam, which means a green pitcher, if you translate it. 
and um, they started operating in the late 1940s, I think in 1949, sometime after the war. So they made a lot of pottery also in the mid-century and 1970s era. I feel like this is more of a 1970s piece. And um, I mean, you could use it as a plate, but I feel like it's not steep enough to be a stew plate. So this is really likely just a little bowl to put stuff in. And I really like the kind of simplistic pattern on it. And I found another set of salt and pepper shakers. I don't know why these are so cute, I couldn't let them go. They kind of look like little eggheads. Um, it's this lady and the guy with a big mustache. <laughs> and uh, they both still have their stoppers. And this actually, yeah, they both have three holes. They were 70 cents each, so I paid one euro 40 cents for the pair. This is not so interesting, but I picked up this for my booth so I can uh, put more stuff in there. Uh, it's uh, this little plate holder. And I do have uh, wall plates and sometimes also um, cake platters and that kind of stuff in there. And this was 150, so um, and really sturdy, nice made for wood. So I feel like that was a good find for that. I'm only showing you two, but I got a set of four of these. These are French Arcopole smoke glass dessert bowls, footed dessert bowls. And I actually have the sort of same, but this one um, said I'm actually gonna sell. And they were, I think, only 40 cents a piece, which is a really good price. So that makes it to 1 euro 60 for all of them. When I spotted this on the shelf, I knew right away what it was. I feel like a lot of American people watching this probably might know what this is. This is a Mexican tonala vase, and this one was only 2 euros, which is uh, such a good price. Obviously, it's hand-painted, as usually the tonala pieces are, and it has the very uh, common, this kind of grayish blue glaze and um, it doesn't have any birds on it it's all florals and it is actually assigned tijuana mexico and then it's signed like ctt or cjj which i feel like i recently picked up a set of three plates and i feel like it's also signed cjj at least it was three letters i have to kind of um look it up to see whether it's the same but yeah this one i got is this cylinder vase and a very exciting find was this planter and it is all encrusted in fat lava it was three or fifty i am not sure who made it it is not at all marked on the bottom so i'm gonna have to do some research it's quite large and that is why i'm gonna keep it i actually have a monstera and i'm looking at right now <laughs> it's sitting there and that one is um, also sitting in a west german planter and i'm probably gonna switch out these because i will probably have to put it in a bigger pot soon so I'm gonna depot it into this pot and then the other pot I'm either gonna keep or gonna sell. I'm not really sure yet. I kind of stopped, I used to always browse the books whenever I went to a thrift store, but I kind of stopped recently just because I usually focus on reselling and getting stuff and uh, I don't have time to go thrifting every single day because of the rest of my life <laughs> and my kids and all that. So yeah, but I kind of made it a thing to look through more books, especially the art books. Because I feel like a lot of times books can give you a lot more information than you just randomly find on the internet and it's more condensed so you don't have to always google around. So um, to cut to the chase, I found this book um, for 2 euros. Uh, it is an Art Nouveau Art Deco book and it talks about a lot of the well-known Art Deco artists and items that were made in the Netherlands back in the time. Moving on to the last story we actually went to, to um, and before my husband and I drove home from our trip. That store was really good. I found some really cool things there. I think I'm going to start off with the biggest find first to kind of get that out of the way. That is something that I actually didn't buy. Um, my husband got it for me and we're going to hang that up in our living room. We do currently have this really nice sea painting there, but that one is going to move into our bedroom. So we're going to switch it up a little bit. Just let me show you the painting. I think you're not going to be able to see me. I am here. <laughs> it's this gigantic amazing and i'm gonna tilt it forward so you can see it better gold framed a dark wall painting and it's just so nice it is still really dirty i haven't had the time to clean it up yet it is signed it is really old <laughs> it's um yeah still in really amazing condition and the frame is so gorgeous this one was 25 euros but i'm very sure that it's worth a lot more i don't know a lot about art like how much it's worth well it's definitely more, more than what we paid for it. Um, yeah, but I feel like this is really cool. And I feel like it's going to look really great in the living room with all the colors in it. Because I do have some mustard yellow in uh, the living room. Like my dining room chairs, which I'm sitting on currently. And 
this one just complements that. So I really like this one. I found a OS German bowl there. I did look it up. I kind of forgot who made this. I think it was Karsten Stunisov. It has this really nice, almost like an almond shape. And um, yeah, the gold and the red and had lava in the middle, obviously. I liked it. This one was five euros. I also found this set of clothing hangers. Um, this black one is going to be taken out. I'm probably just going to keep that. The other ones I'm going to sell. I paid one euro for the whole set. And they are really cool. Blue sight clothing hangers, which I feel like is really amazing. I've never seen these before. And they have really big bubbles inside, which is kind of cool. There is a set of three of these blue and a set of three of these orange ones. I feel like I'm just going to sell them all as a whole set. Um, these are definitely going to go into my Etsy. Um, I'm not sure if they are for the mid-century. I feel like they're more modern, maybe from the 80s or 90s, but I think that people are still going to like them, especially now loose side is kind of a big thing and those all those acrylic things. So hopefully these are going to do well. I got a another um, well art piece. Not sure if I'm gonna put this in my booth. I might. This one was four euros and fifty. I'm still gonna put some oil on it to make it look all nice and shiny again. And it's this um, Asian. I'm not. I feel like it is not actually Asian, but it's um, definitely Asian inspired. This uh, geisha. And if she's not a geisha, please let me know. But I feel like she is from the clothing um, Japanese. And I, I really like this. I kind of walked by this a couple times. I was like, am I gonna pick it up? And then I was, but then I was like, you know what? I feel like somebody's really gonna like it. For my booth, I picked up this little piggy. Um, I didn't have a price on it, I think. I feel like it was like 50 cents or something. It's just this little piggy platter. <laughs> and it's, um, I learned the term recently from Crazy Lab Lady, because I didn't know that's what you call it, anthropomorphic, because it's a little piggy with eyelashes and it looks like a little cute girl. And then I got a set of tea light holders. And I feel like these might have been a tourist piece. Um, they strike me a little bit as Spanish as some of the things that I always used to see when we went on vacation because my parents or my mom, she has a house in Spain. And um, I'm just gonna put one back here, the small one, and just show you this one actually lifts up. And you have a lid. There is actually still tea light in there. <laughs> and put this in here. And I feel like these are really nice. And oh, no, I just have to ooh, put the lid on there and not break it. Yes. And I do like the blue coloring on them and the green that kind of fades into the brown. They are not signed. And then I got another blender and this one is so cool. It's a giant conch. <laughs> it's a shell. So you can put your plant pot in there. Um, this one was three euros. It's not marked. I'm not sure if it's West German. It might be because they made a lot of blenders back in the day. <laughs> and uh, this one's really nice. I'm not sure yet where I'm going to sell it. First, I do have to clean it up because it still has some soil residue <laughs> in there. But I always like finding cool planters. That's probably one of my favorite things right next to the vases. Obviously, planters are always something I'm looking for because planters are just uh, one of the coolest things ever. And they just make every space look a lot more special. If you like this video, make sure to check out this video and this playlist here as well. If you're not subscribed, make sure to do that as well because I post a new video about thrifting and secondhand finds every Tuesday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye!